We're going to see Nadine and Peggy Sue, these two wonderful pigs that have been here for at least a couple of years. And they're out in the field this morning, rooting and doing what they do. Good girl, come on! Come on, girl! Nadine, my baby! Good girl! How are you, my girl? How's my girl? What do I do? Oh, 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 there's my pig. There is a woman who rescued four pigs, and she loved her pigs, but at some point she surrendered them to a sanctuary in Vermont. Um, it turned out that this sanctuary was really a hoarder. And then she went to go visit them. She wanted to see how they were doing, and she noticed... <laughs> you want to be with your friend? Come on in, Peggy. Nadine can't get the spotlight. I need some of it. Come on, baby. Hi. 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 And when she visited, she noticed some odd things. She noticed some animals were disappearing. Um, she was quite concerned. She became friends with the caretaker there. The caretaker said, well, you know, this woman's taking some animals to slaughter. Um, and she's letting some animals loose. Well, this just got her so upset because she loved these four pigs. She got the four pigs out of there. They went to a parrot rescue. and. That parrot rescue um, contacted us. But these girls are here now, and they're two pals. Oh, I know, I missed a spot. Oh. And we love having them here. They're great, great um, ambassadors to help people understand and love and learn about big pigs. Right? And to have them as our friend, not our food. Right, girl? I've been teaching kids about what the sows go through in the factory farming industry. We made a little demonstration gestation crate. It's two feet by seven feet. These crates will be lined up. Like, they don't necessarily have this lid, but I wanted to make it feel a little bit more confined so the children understood, so they just can't stand up. But there'd be a, you know, a sow would be here on her side, a sow would be here, a sow would be here. You know, they'd just be lined up. Pigs are extremely, extremely clean animals. They do not like to go to the bathroom where they sleep. They actually have a potty place. And the poor things would, would have to crap where they eat and sleep. There's a bowl that comes up the front with some food. Um, they basically are lying on their sides and they will have litters after litters after litters. It's agonizing, horrible, horrible way to live. So that's why I feel so proud being here at the sanctuary so people can learn about these animals. It helps them change their mind for making choices and change their thinking. Yeah. <laughs>